Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video we will talk about the latest Windows 11 update in the dev channel and that's the build 25126 which comes with a few improvements and fixes worth talking about. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. As stated from Microsoft, with this build you will be able to view all the supported Office perpetual products such as Office 2021 or Office 2019, which are associated with your account. This update will allow you to view all supported Microsoft 365 Office products licensed to your account, so by going to Settings, then clicking on Accounts, you can view details about your product, or install Office by simply selecting the View Details button as shown in this screenshot. If you don't have any products installed on your PC, you will of course get the option to try them for free just like shown in my case. Moving on to the most important fixes in this build, the update 25126 fixed the issue causing some insiders to experience a bug check with the error driver IRQL not less or equal in PCI.C's causing a rollback trying to install the latest builds in the dev channel. This was quite problematic, as I am sure Sure, no one wants a rollback on their OS without a proper reason, so it's good that now it's fixed. Microsoft also stated that some work is done and it's also in process to mitigate the issue causing the Program Compatibility Assistant Service to use an unexpectedly large amount of CPU power for some insiders after upgrading to the latest insider preview builds in the dev channel. Another important fix relates to an issue that was causing a high heating explorer.exe crash that could happen when using search. This happened to me as well and it usually ended up in having to restart the computer. For now it seems to be gone. And lastly in the task manager a few important issues were addressed with the list of fixes being the following. The update fixed an issue where the context menus weren't following the same mode, light or dark, as Task Manager itself for some insiders. Also, if you've hidden the graphs on the side of the performance page, the color of the circles used instead should now match the graph in the summary view. The update also addressed an issue where the not responding status for certain apps wasn't being reflected on the processes page. And lastly, this update also fixed a typo in the minimize on use tooltip. And that's it! These were the main highlights of the update build 25126 for Windows 11 in the dev channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!